Hey cool cats and lazy dogs, today I am bringing you my review of the Sennheiser MKH-50 as compared to the Audio-Technica AT4053B. Keep it locked. Small diaphragm condenser microphones have long been the weapon of choice when capturing indoor location dialogue. When compared to their larger shotgun brethren, they exhibit less of an off-access proximity effect, typically have a wider frontal pickup, are smaller, lighter, and are less prone to room reflections. Over the years, I have used two microphones for this task, the Audio-Technica AT4053B and the Sennheiser MKH-50. Both microphones are more than capable to deliver results for the intended tasks, but there are a few differences. The AT4053B is a hypercardioid pattern, which has a wider frontal pickup than that of the MKH-50, which is a supercardioid. This will give the edge to the Sennheiser for off-access rejection, but the Audio-Technica will be more forgiving in picking up the intended dialogue if accidentally or intentionally placed off-access. I am now doing a test with the small diaphragm condenser microphone, the Sennheiser MKH-50, to see what the off-axis sound sounds like, as well as the rear lobe and the sides of the microphone to see if it changes its frequency response in any way when you're off-axis. I am now doing a test of the Audio-Technica AT4053B to see whether or not off-axis sounds change the frequency at all based on where uh, the sound is coming into the microphone and how present that rear lobe is. I'm now on the side of the microphone and I can read that it says made in Japan and of course now I'm coming back to the front of the Audio Technica. Although these microphones exhibit little off-axis proximity effect, they do exhibit an on-axis proximity effect, changing the frequency based on the frontal distance to the capsule. I am now doing an on-axis proximity effect test with the Audio Technica AT4053B and the Sennheiser MKH-50. As I get closer to the small diaphragm condenser microphones, you should hear an increase in the bass frequency with both microphones, and things should start getting a, a little bit deeper in my voice. Again, this is a test on the Audio Technica AT4053B and the Sennheiser MKH-50 as far as on-axis proximity effects with the small diaphragm condenser microphones. They do both feature a roll-off filter for closer work, but I typically prefer to do this in post. The lighter weight of the MKH-50 at 3.5 ounces versus the AT4053B at 4.5 ounces will be appreciated if booming for extended periods of time. The MKH-50 will be better suited for fully recording and loud locations with its higher SPL, sensitivity, and a 10 decibel pad of which the latter is also a shared feature on the AT4053B. The Sennheiser has more prominence and clarity than the Audio-Technica, which at times can sound a little bit more muffled. Some may have bananas on them. Bananas, yes, there you go. Fiji, how about that one? You know, FM and AM continue to deliver great audience for us, but DAB is certainly where we've seen the most growth over the course of the last 10 years. Many of our working practices are much the same. Our records are kept in a manuscript form, hand-painted and hand-scrivened, which is a wonderful, old-fashioned, but sustainable form of record keeping. Even though the Audio-Technica has a greater frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, compared to the Sennheiser at 40 Hz to 20 kHz, the MKH-50 seems to accentuate and complement low-end sounds, especially more baritone voices, better than the AT4053B. The Sennheiser does draw less power, which will be an added benefit for field use with a battery-operated mixer. Both microphones will require an adequate shock mount as they both exhibit handling noise. I normally use my Rycote for this purpose, but the Sennheiser does come with a nice shock mount in the box. Neither microphone, from what I can tell, is susceptible to RF interference. Now, even though these microphones are ideally suited for indoor dialogue booming, they are not barred from outdoor applications. I still have to consider whether material things exist. Indeed, I already know that they are at least capable of existing insofar as they are the object of pure mathematics because I perceive them clearly and distinctly. For there is no doubt that God is capable of producing everything that I am capable of perceiving in this way, and I never thought that there was anything he was incapable of producing unless it was incapable of being perceived distinctly by me. Besides, it seems to follow that they do exist from the faculty of imagining that I am conscious of using when I turn to such material things. 
The reason is that if one considers very carefully what imagination is, it seems to be nothing but a certain application of the cognitive faculty to a body that is intimately present to the faculty and that therefore exists. Up in the turret, Johnny Abel cleared a jam from his ammunition belt and lined up a bogey with his twin 50s. He let loose a burst. Jay peered up through the glass ceiling hatch and saw the Zero's engine erupt in orange flames that winked along its fuselage and spread to its fuel tanks. When the fighter spun towards the sea, a funeral pyre of jagged flames leaving a contrail of greasy black smoke, it barely missed clipping old 666's right wingtip. This is a distance test of the Sennheiser MKH-50 and the Audio-Technica AT-4053B to see how well they perform at capturing dialogue at a distance. I set the meters to 50 dB on a sound device's MixPre-3 audio recorder, and I'm speaking in a moderate indoor voice, and I am roughly 5 feet away from the microphones. This is a test of the Sennheiser MKH-416 and the Audio-Technica AT-4053B to see how well they perform at gathering dialogue at a distance. I set the meters on the sound device's MixPre-3 to 50 dB. I'm speaking at a moderate voice, and I'm currently about 10 feet from the microphones. This is a test of the Sennheiser MKH-50 and the Audio-Technica AT-4053B to see how well they perform at gathering dialogue at a distance. I set the meters on the sound device's mix pre-3 to 50 dB. I'm speaking at a moderate voice, and I'm roughly 15 feet away from the microphones. This is a test of the Sennheiser MKH-50 and the Audio-Technica AT-4053B to see how well they perform at gathering dialogue at a distance. I set the meters on the sound device's mix pre-3 audio recorder to 50 dB. I'm speaking at a moderate voice, and I am roughly 20 feet away from the microphones. And I'm doing this for the purpose to see how well these microphones handle intense room reflections. I'm in a bathroom, there's a lot of tiling, there's a bathtub, uh, there's a lot of hard surfaces uh, on which my voice can bounce back to me and the microphones itself. Uh, I have the microphones boom just out of frame here, I have the Audio-Technica AT4053B, and I have the Sennheiser MKH-50. King Richard's priority through all of this was to maintain troop discipline and keep his army moving forward in formation towards Arsuf. Any pause or break in line would be lethal, but the temptation among his men to launch a counterattack was nearly irresistible. A messenger raced up the line from the hospital rear guard, begging for permission to retaliate, but the Lionheart refused. For now, at least, his orders held. It was a testament to the king's force of will and charisma as a general that, for so long, his authority held in the face of such extraordinary pressure. The Christians were now surrounded like a flock of sheep in the jaws of wolves so that they could see nothing but the sky and their wicked enemies on every side. And yet, their advance continued. Due to their size and weight, I have often used them as on-camera microphones when not recording interviews. They are both compact enough to be unobtrusive, providing crisp audio to my C300. The Sennheiser does fit more securely without adapters into the Canon C300 shock mount. Uh, as long as it, it hasn't got mushrooms in it, or coriander, because that's the devil's food, obviously. What does it mean for, for in the middle of the winter for someone to come just to see what an incredible facility this is? Just to have culture and that's the importance of culture. Uh, our sister troop yeah. from Texas. That was really nice. We yeah. uh, eat uh, dinner with them. For me, I think it's friendship, yeah. honor, and also just that opportunity to to um, to get to know other people and experience their their uh, their culture. And be part of a group where you have to rely on each other and be responsible for your own actions. For outdoor use, both microphones will require adequate wind protection, such as this Rycote Softy. For folks who are looking to dive into the world of small diaphragm condenser microphones, the Audio-Technica may be a more appropriate first choice. With the used market value at about one-third the price of a used MKH-50, the AT4053B is an excellent value for money decision, which will perform admirably for many years. The Sennheiser MKH-50 is a superior choice of microphone, which will honor itself with its results, and has been my go-to microphone for years, 
reliably capturing top quality audio, whether on or off the camera. This concludes my quick review of the Sennheiser MKH-50 and the Audio-Technica AT4053B. I hope this has helped. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Alexander Calder Spinelli of Longbow Media, signing off. Catch you later, cool cats.